Alola friends, Dapper Drabby is back again. Uh, so, how are you guys doing today? We are going to be defending, defending our title in the PokeTuber Battle League against Electric Husky today. Uh, we just got to pick our deck and uh, or show you the deck for half a second while he challenges us again. Let's turn on the music too. Yeah. So, we got Shining Lugia. Uh, and I hope this isn't too loud. Let me just turn it down just slightly, a little bit, I guess. Um, at least for me. Shining Lugia, he is our main uh, attacker here. Um, and he is what got us the crown back after a huge hiatus where we didn't have it for a good few weeks. So, we play two Shining Lugias. This is based off of a list from an AIC that did super well. So... Let me just adjust that a little bit. Play one more shadow just so we can hit those Zorks for weakness. We play an Inke because guess who we also play? We play Malamar. We play three Malamars for that Psychic Recharge. Bring those energies back. One Pressure Mewtwo. The original list had three Shining Lugias. I put in the Mewtwo with Pressure as an alternative attacker. Um, they both basically do the same thing. Take They one-shot those baby buzz holes. Mewtwo GX is the main attacker. Load up those Psychic Energies and he's just ready to go. Uh, so we play a couple of them. A Copycat because a Copycat with with Malamar is never a bad idea. It's just one energy attachment away from blowing things up. Um, and the general list is, uh, you know, general everything. Uh, any spice in here? Not that I think of. I mean, we play Fighting Fairy Belt over Choice Band for the... So we have a thicker line. We have a, a thick uh, Lugia rather than a, uh, a hard-hitting Lugia. Lugia, we hope to be two-shotting anything. So we want it to be thick, not uh, not fragile. But let me make sure he doesn't think that we're just, like, chilling here. We have the Shining Lugia uh, deck set up already. So... I just, I just remembered I didn't want to waste his time, really. I was just like, oh, really, I should, uh... He didn't challenge me back right away, so I feel like I should challenge him. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. I'm hoping the, uh, the League, uh, logo here is not blocking anything. It's not, it's not. I could actually make it bigger, and I might just do so. Because this thing's pretty, uh, pretty fun to go, pretty fun so far. Um... So, I mean, I'm enjoying this. I know we might still be looking for people. I'm not sure anymore. Ah, uh, Lele start. How do I keep getting that Lele start? Um, but shout outs to YSD24 and PK Light, the guy uh, I took the crown from, um, because they are running this thing. And I am excited to see where it goes. But. One of those things we need to make it happen is more people. Um, oh yeah, I forgot to mention. I we all are we all know what we're facing. I'm facing against something that is resistant to psychic, uh, so that's fun. Um, yes, I need an extra card. That's not what I need. That's not what I need. Uh, but we will play it anyways. We're gonna be going in with Lele here because he can't resist Lele. Lele is too adorable to resist. Not exactly how it goes, but it is true. He cannot resist Lele. Um, so with this, I think we're going to grab two Inkes and uh, Metal. Uh, I guess we're going to grab... What does he have out? He has the Sogaleo Prism Star right now. So the question is whether or not I want Mewtwo. Or uh, something else. I guess we're going to grab our general attacker, Mewtwo. He has nothing else on the board. So there's not much we can do. Although Lugia might be better here. Let's grab Lugia. Lugia is what won us the last one, so let's grab Lugia. Wow, I can't get this thing to work for me. There we go. That made no sense whatsoever. And we'll just simply attach an energy here and pass. I mean, we could probably have attached an energy to Lele, but I uh, decided not to. I mean, two energies on Lele would be able to attack for 40 every turn. You 
in case you guys are wondering, this is a best of one. Because it is a king of the hill. So, I'm on the hill right now. If I lose, I remove the invisible crown and pass it off to uh, Electric Husky. Which I'm okay with. Uh, I'm really surprised uh, breaking the fourth wall, Celestial Storm comes out today. And I'm really surprised I'm not getting blown back by a Celestial Storm deck. But, looks like he's taking it easy on me. He's playing something that resists what I'm playing. I'm fine. I'm a big fan of Duskmane, actually. Dusk Garb was my original uh, crown winning one. You got an energy on the Dialga. Do I just throw a bunch of psychic energies away? It's use it or lose it, right? Let's just throw everything in the discard pile. Oh, that's right, we can attach for turn. It feels a little weird. It feels weird, but Sycamore, I believe, is the right play there. Like, I'm super duper convinced like it's the right play. Although, I'm just realizing one of my wrong plays. I should have attached that Psychic Energy up here. Um, that's a little unfortunate. But, you know, we totally could just like start setting up this other one. Which, I mean, the, that's a little premature. But I'm fine. Uh, let's get Lugia, although I just realized something with Lugia. And I think we're going to do a sacrificial little squid for a bigger squid. And start setting up Mewtwo as well. We're starting to float pretty well though. I mean, this deck is doing what it's meant to do. Um, and we have not seen a Magmite. I do mean Magmite. Magmite is the... Uh, the Mon we don't want to see because Magmite is his engine. If he throws down a Magmite, we go after that thing because we don't want to see it. You guys are kind of catching me at dinner here. Probably know what day I filmed this too based on the outfit. A pass. Really? A pass? Well, now I'm questioning what to do here. This hits for 140. I think we do this. And Sycamore. Feels weird again, yes, but definitely the right play. We have one psychic energy down there. We might as well grab that. And now we can attack with Lele if need be. But we have Shining Lugia right here, ready to go. What him for Arrow Force? A whopping 140 damage to him. And then we'll just bring out a Coca we don't play and just swing for the board. Sorry for the chewing noises, everyone. He just end me into what I want. We're gonna do with you right now. 
30, 60, 90. I can do 120 with this right now. Um, which is not enough, I will say. We don't have another psychic energy down there. It's super surprising that we're out of psychic energies. We're gonna do this anyway, so... I just know it's a move I'm gonna be making. May not be the right order of operations, but... Definitely a move I'm making. Ah, too bad I can't double retreat. <gasps> Although... 20 resistance, though. I guess I should take out... I really should just take this out. Yeah, I hate to do it, but that that's really what I should take out. It's his move. It's his It's his engine. That's his deck engine, so I need to take it out. We'll set up the uh, the Mewtwo here for a possible uh, next turn GX attack. Another Guzma, man. We're just gonna be Guzma, Guzma, Guzma these next few turns unless he ends us. Like we're set, we're set. We just got a Guzma for the game. It's your boy. It's your boy, Guzma. He's going to set up that timeless. We're going to beat him to the punch. It's a little unfortunate. So I'm going to do a super weird play here. I'm going to retreat Lugia. Into Lele. I'm going to psychic recharge those two energies back. Double colorless on the Shining Lugia. Retreat. Oh no, uh, not retreat, but Guzma. If I still have the Guzma, he's definitely playing that in. Um, into Dialga. And try to do that Psy Strike GX. Ultra Ball. Not exactly what we need. I think I could grab the Lele, I think. I think there's a third Lele in here. Yeah, that's not what we wanted to see. But we can take this out, and he's going to Timeless us next turn. Which is actually going to be shy of the knockout. Hmm. I think I set up the, the side Strike anyways. And just knock this out. That, uh, that uh, activates Beast Ring, though. Which I don't even know if he plays. I don't know if he plays Beast Ring. But that activates it. I'm going to save the Ultra Ball for Shining Lugia next turn. Although, I don't think he knocks it out. Like, he can knock it out over two turns. The comeback, guys. The comeback. B-string. B-string. Oh, let's see this. Let's see this. This is the turn. This is that swing turn, guys. The swing turn right here. He's actually going to go for the Magna Zone now. Does he have Rare Candy in his hand? Ooh, I wonder. I wonder. He's going to Timeless here. Use a second turn in a row. Um, so, let's see what he does with the second turn. That's crazy. That he hits me for 150 and doesn't knock out a Shining Lugia. Yeah. Fighting Fury Belt. When you rotate, it's going to be sad. <laughs> they get the choice ban. Rare Candy Magnuson? No. It does not have the Rare Candy. Does not have the Rare Candy. I don't know if that Instruct's going to save him. You definitely take out Lugia here. You definitely take out Lugia here. Um, 
We're going to our, our, our free retreater in case we miss. In case we miss. We top deck the Guzma. Which is not not enough, I'm pretty sure. We do 210. Man, we just knock out that uh that dusk main if we want to. If we really want to, we can knock out that dusk main. Oh, here's something fun we can do. We can use Shining Lugia's attacks as more shadow. Let's do that. I'm getting blown up on my phone too. Alright, double psychic recharge. Getting text messages to did. We'll throw them on the Marsh Shadow. Because why not? And we're going to have access to that three, uh, three move attack. Now I'm just thinking, do we, do we Guzma? And take out the Dusk main. And let them have to fall back on Dialga. I say we do. Let's do it. You do just enough damage here. Even with the resistance. Fighting Fury Belt. Overpowered. Right here. Right here. Overpowered. Overpowered Fighting Fury Belt. Gives perfect numbers. We get another Mewtwo GX. And a Psychic Energy to boot. Am I just not getting those messages? Sorry, text message. I think I have to read. Okay, it's Electra House she's turns. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. That sucks. Okay. I don't know. I don't know how he finishes this out. He needs to get that Magnezone up this turn. He actually field blowed his wishful baton. He actually field blowed his wishful baton. Oh come on man, where's your Magna Zone? Ugh, I feel bad, man. Everyone's getting these really bad RNGs. Did you guys not pray to Arceus before these matches? I don't think you did. I don't think you did. And now it's 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 that time. By the way, Lele right now does 100 damage clean to him. 140. 160. Do I actually have? I do actually have. So 30, 60, 90, 120, 140. Sorry, Mewtwo. It's Lele turn to shine. Oh, no, no, no. I don't want to do that. I can't get that back. Um, I can't get that back. I can get these back. Let me not misplay it last second to prove a point. Oh, my God. I actually get one back this turn. Just throw it on him, man. Just throw it on him. Maybe. Maybe it's going to. And Lele, do you got it? Lele, those numbers, those numbers, Lele. Crown firmly plays. Thank you for the great game, Electric Husky. I'm so sad you could not find your zone. That was a good game. It's a good matchup, I must say. But we are victorious. We keep our crown, and uh, it's another point. I don't know when this season ends, but it's gonna be soon. Uh, he actually plays the Missing Clovers. That's fun. That is fun. So with that, guys, I'm going to let you go here. Uh, we'll take one last look at the deck first, actually. One last look at the deck. I didn't mean to do it that way. But clearly, the PTCGO is listening to me and just understanding exactly what I want to do. So, like I said, main attacker is that Shining Lugia. You saw him in action with the arrow f with the Argent Wing on those special abilities and Aero Force on that Dusk main it does 130 damage. Argent Wing is great against Lele. Because you do 120 to Lele. You two shot a Lele, Lele two shots you. What can you do, right? 
That's a great one prize trade. We had that Marsh Shadow. We didn't get to use him, but you saw the use of him, what he, we were going for with him. Uh, of course, it's a Malamar engine. Uh, didn't get to play you, but that's fine. We were playing Metal. Everything really psychic. We didn't want to play here, uh, including Mewtwo GX. But Mewtwo GX with that Psy Strike and a Fighting Fury about those perfect numbers for to take out that uh, four to take out to take out that Dusk main Necrozma he was setting up in the background. So, I mean, I'm, I'm happy with that gameplay. I'm sure there was misplays, but I'm not mad about them. We had played four Mysterious injury, mysterious Energies, Mysterious Treasure, two Field Blowers, a Professor's Ladder. We got to get those those Psychics out fast like we did. One Rescue Stretcher, which we lost early. One Bridget. That's something I'm debating whether it needs to be more. But I can't change this deck list once I went to, once I went to challenge the initial champion. Uh, three Ultra Ball for consistency, two Cynthia, four Guzma, which came in clutch, so clutch. Uh, three in, those four Sycamore, because we are aggressive, uh, more aggressive than Buzzhole, as of, obviously. A uh, Fighting Fury Belt, those guys are MVPs, and then Float Stones. Energy! So thank you guys so much for stopping by. This has been great. I will bid you guys Alola, and I hope to see you guys on another video and looking at this league more often. Make sure to check out all the guys. Wise D, PK Light, OG Eevee, Electric Husky, and me. I think we are always looking for more people. Contact Wise D on Twitter or the PTPL on Twitter if you guys are interested. But for now, bye.